Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today, I wanted to share this story with you. One of my friends sent me. Alabama 4 channer with body armor guns down three police officers. Oh, man, those poor cops. Look at him. He got beat so bad. What is it with... Uh, so he survived at the end. They booked him, which is good. What is it with white crazy adults that they'll do stupid things and then they'll run off and think they can get away with it or something like that and then uh like everyone else wants to do something stupid they're usually anti-hero right okay so actually before i get into this for the purposes of this story um if you're a total sjw you're not going to watch this because i'm going to be using words that are going to offend you now within the within the anonymous community the word faggot is referring to a person just flat out. It's just referring to a person. It's not referring to anyone of any gender or any different way. And it's more of a way to just say individual or that person, that guy. So this is Old Fag. Now you'll know Old Fag because he's crazy. Old Fag is just off the wall crazy. New Fag thinks they can make the world a better place, or at least that's how it started to be. And then the word New Fag just kind of became a derogatory term for newbie. So basically, back in the day, we had uh, we had the old four channers that loved child porn and and uh, animal abuse and stuff. The new fags came along. By the time it was time to uh, fight against Scientology, and then after about a few months, there was a big falling out between the two. But this is old-fashioned old fag crazy, crazy lefters, and um, <laughs> I love getting news from the far left because they don't even know how to write. L look at this. Wh whoever wrote this, whoever wrote this made just one long run-on sentence for the first paragraph. I hope if someone's getting paid for this, that uh, I hope no one's getting paid for this, actually. Anyways, let's just get into it. While protesting Black Lives Matter activists and uh, FBI's black identity extremists remain popular boogeymen, in the eyes of law and order conservatives, a man in Alabama, Alabama man, you always hear about Alabama man, and there's Florida man and Alabama man, together they uh, make a baby in Christ, what would that become? My friends in America, if you're watching this, what would happen if Florida man and Alabama man had a baby? Anyways, so there was a domestic dispute at Alabama man's house. Alabama man has been beating his wife, and three cops came in. I guess they knocked on the door, and nobody would come, so they went in to investigate the domestic disturbance. Let's get back to the article. Three police officers were shot. <coughs> Excuse me, one of them fatally when they responded to a domestic disturbance call in Auburn in on Sunday night. The male arrested shortly afterwards soon emerged. Grain Wayne Wilkes, 29, a veteran from Auburn, was found posting memes for the alt right. I love how they just throw this in. He was posting memes. Oh, he was posting memes, so we had to go get him. It's like, I wonder how they even knew this. I'm looking it up on other stories, and I'm not exactly seeing how 4chan comes back into it, but I definitely can see how it would. For most of uh, them, uh, mocking humor about guns, white nationalists trolling signals and uh, encouragement for the Proud Boys style of violence. It's interesting. The people that started the Proud Boys aren't even in the Proud Boys anymore because there's so many uh, retard right people in it that uh, they just wanted to get out of it. At first it was just trolling and there's so much trolling on the right going on. So many liberals think the trolls on the right are so much more powerful than they are. When the trolls are just uh, people in the middle trying to make the thing seem bigger than it is, let's face it. So ultimately, what I'm getting out of this is there's a des domestic disturbance. Three cops came in on a veteran who is old fag from R9K and pull, and they thought they could just walk in. This guy jumps out in full body armor, caps the first guy he sees, puts the next two down, but he doesn't double tap. It looks like he shoots them, but doesn't kill, kill them and take off. So so every now and then, I talk to, I get, I get commenters or people in the comments that I can just tell, I'm not messing with this person. There's something a little bit off with this person. And I think this guy might hang out with the final boss of the internet, or I think they might know. Let's face it, I make a lot of Hacker Who Is videos that can get me in a lot of trouble if the hackers who watch it don't like it. Like, I don't ever say anything good about the Lizard Squad because I don't really think they're very cool. I think they're uh, just people who, who throw money to do denial of service tax to take down video game things just to be trolls against the... I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, but anyways, you know if you're getting... If, if you've been around, 
you you computer people you know if you're talking to somebody you need to to worry about and uh and cops they did not know what they were getting into it was like the cops thought they were the party van going up to uh this guy's house but no no the party van was coming to the cops the cops walked into the party van and they didn't do so well anyways anyways he lives he lives like i said wilkes was arrested nine hours later less than three miles away in addition uh discharges of shootout police officers also attempted strangulation and domestic violence charges from his assault on the woman i hope this guy gets raped in prison i really do I really, really hope he gets raped in prison. And uh, actually, you know what? He probably will be. He probably will be raped in prison because uh, when you get to prison, they find out what your stuff's about. If you don't want to tell them, if you don't want to show them your papers, then uh, then uh, that's an issue. That's an issue. Yeah, so you guys might want to uh, check out Fresh Out pr uh, Prison Talk. It's prison talk by people who were in prison that can tell you the stories. And man, apparently in California, if you come out and you don't show your papers and... Uh, it uh, could get a little sketchy, but I'm pretty sure on your papers, if it shows you've been abusing females, they will rape you in prison, basically. I don't know this stuff, but hey, if this YouTube video uh, uh, fresh out is right, then this guy's going to have an interesting time, and I hope he does. I really hope it, he does, despite much of the mythology surrounding black protesters. Like, why would he not throw this in? This is far left stuff. This is this is retarded left people talking about retarded right people. Come on, can't we all meet together in the middle? But no, we probably don't want to. It's probably easier to throw up advertisements. Do we have advertisements on here? No, we don't. That's interesting. These guys aren't even making money off this, are they? I don't think is I don't think that's an advertisement. Is it? You guys should give me a sec. Being nominated to go. No, that's political. Is this all political? Is this all free? I think it is. Jeez, at least they're not. Cruxandliars.com. At least they're not just advertising hoes. Nice, nice. Man, I like that. They're not just selling advertisements. That's awesome. That is awesome. Crooksandliars.com does not sell advertisements. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'd really like to know. I'd really like to know. But yeah. Yeah. Second major response. Video fiasco. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Um, let's keep people like him in the bottom of the internet. Ladies, ladies, if you're listening, if you're listening, if your guy posts on 4chan... If he posts on R9K and if he posts on Poll and he's a little out there, get away from him. That's like, that's so much a warning flag, especially if he posts on B. Watch what he does. Know if he's on R9K. Know if he's on B. You gotta, and, and, and if you don't, then you're not even doing your freaking due diligence. You gotta, you gotta stay away from these people. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you later.